This is going to be my final vlog for my intro to cinema class, and in it, I will be discussing Alfred Hitchcock's 1958 masterpiece, Vertigo. This thriller follows John Scotty, an ex-detective who gets kind of wrapped up back in a case when his old friend asks Scotty to follow his wife, who's been acting very strangely. This movie is interesting and a unique experience for a number of different reasons, but one of the things I appreciated about it most is that it has this interesting feeling of being like two different stories almost. Without giving anything away, in the first part, a lot of stuff happens, and then it feels like it could kind of wind down and end, but then a lot more stuff happens in the second half. And today, I will be analyzing the portion of the movie that kind of separates these two halves, which is the famous nightmare scene. We open up to Scotty, our protagonist, laying in bed, and the coloring is actually kind of warm and soft, which makes us feel comfortable, but he is tossing and turning in bed, which lets us know that he is uncomfortable and that a change is going to happen. This idea of change is reinforced as the original coloring that is warm and soft and more natural quickly shifts back and forth between very unnatural tints of blue and bright orange and purple that let us know that we're going into this different sense of reality. As the colors begin to change more quickly and to more intense shades, the music also picks up in the background. Animation comes into play in this scene when a bouquet of flowers, which is a symbol from the first half of the movie, comes to life in this dreamlike, nightmare-like way. There is no other animation in any part of this film which makes this scene very unique and very progressive, even in its own being, even in the own movie, this scene is progressive. As the animated bouquet is sort of deconstructing, it's zooming in on us and shifting between two color palettes. One is very bright in this sort of eerie dreamlike setting, and the other is this set of neutral browns and grays, which lets us know that we are going between this very scary dreamlike setting, which is different from our reality that is the rest of the movie. We see our protagonist, Scotty, walking forward with this ominous black background that kind of shows that it's only him and he's feeling super alone as the colors are changing more quickly he is becoming even more trapped inside of himself the contrast between our eerie nightmare and the reality that scotty actually lives in is again highlighted and kind of played upon as the black ominous background quickly shifts to an actual setting from the first half of the movie which is a cemetery behind a church the music continues to pick up, the colors continue to change drastically, both showing that we are still trapped in this weird sense of reality and we haven't gone back to the normal. But in contrast to that, we see Scotty in this, like, in this real life setting, which just builds up to the eerie quality of the movie and highlights the fact that Scotty feels trapped even when he is in his real life setting. He still feels eerie and uncomfortable even when he is also awake. In conclusion, Hitchcock's famous nightmare scene contributes to the unique, eerie, quirky, and progressive mise-en-scene of the entire film Vertigo by mixing different colors, animations, music, zoom, cuts, and intense acting to drag the audience into this uncomfortable nightmare with him. Thank you for watching, and I will see you soon with another video soon. Goodbye!